What's up everybody, Andrew Maxwell from the Southern Outdoorsman here and today we're doing a quick review of the Cruiser XC. So I've saddle hunted for a couple years now. For the last two years I've been in the Tethered Manus um, and I knew I wanted to switch up this year and just try something different but I wasn't sure which way I wanted to go. Uh, and we actually met Chadrick who is the owner of Cruiser at our Bows and Brews event back in March or whenever that was. Uh, and he actually sent us out a couple of these things to test out and review. Now that I've got a couple hunts on this I feel like I can review it. Definitely the most comfortable saddle I've hunted out of. Um, the Manus, you can get it comfortable for sure, uh, but the amount of tinkering I feel like it takes to get that saddle comfortable versus this one, I mean, there's a pretty big difference there. This one I was able to get comfortable in very quickly, very easily, and in different positions. So uh, I think a couple reasons for that, just the adjustable bridge makes a very big difference because you can actually, at least I can have my tether at different heights uh, and keep this uh, bridge at different lengths um, just for depending on the tree so it's like super versatile. So one of the reasons I feel like it's more comfortable um, is just the, the rigidity of the saddle itself. This material is actually pretty stout uh, so I feel like it holds its shape a lot better. Another thing is the actual shape of the saddle. It's, uh, it's more round. It's not like a straight belt line which I feel like conforms to your body pretty well. Another thing I really like is the uh, position of the actual leg straps. So they come in right here. They don't go up on your belt or anywhere else. Just the position as they come out, it's a lot more comfortable down there. Um, it's, you know, it, nothing's getting squeezed, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty nice. So with the XC, a couple things I liked about it as well, which Andrew kind of touched on, was the rigidity of the saddle. That's really important for a lot of guys, especially if you're kind of new into saddle hunting. I have found having a more rigid uh, material structure that the saddle's made out really aids in comfort, for my, in my opinion. Um, when you have a lot of the softer materials, I've got some other saddles uh, that we might mess around with uh, in a different video, uh, but when you have a real soft material that the saddle's made of, it doesn't really hold its shape very well. Uh, so if you have, you know, if you're really, really skinny, um, or, you know, if you're, you know, more, got a little more junk in the trunk, um, as you say, um, it, it might not fit so well, and it's not as comfortable, and Andrew kind of touched on that earlier. Uh, one thing I really like about the saddle is the comfort while sitting. Um, I for the past two years, uh, you know, hunting out of a saddle, I've leaned 99% of the time, which on long hunts can get kind of tiresome, as you can imagine. Well, with this saddle, because of the rigid structure of it, um, and we'll look at a Arrow Hunter Flex in a little bit as well, but the rigidity of the XC really helps when you're sitting. Uh, so I'll kind of kind of get in position here. When I'm in the seated position, it holds its shape so well. It really does feel like you're sitting down in a chair. Um, and you know, add it, add a back band or something to it where you can kind of lean back. You know, it's extremely comfortable. Um, again, a lot of other saddles, when you sit down in this position here, you get a lot of hip pinch right here. Uh, and to me, that's something I have not had happen uh, with this saddle uh, so far. Wearing also like some heavier uh, layers like bibs uh, hasn't been an issue at all, uh, which is nice. Because again, that's the biggest issue in the past. You know, I got guys that I know that can sit and they kind of get their body accustomed to doing that. Uh, but personally, you know, in a lot of other saddles, it's not very comfortable. Uh, so that's one good thing about this as well. Um, also, just the overall kind of aesthetics of the saddle is really nice uh, when it comes to the overall kind of stitching job done, uh, along just with the kind of functionality. Andrew mentioned earlier, but it's a really important part of the, uh, the leg straps. The leg straps, kind of the way they're attached, and they're not up on the waist belt, they're a little bit lower down. It doesn't act like it's pinching anything. And also when you're walking in, it's a little bit more comfortable in my opinion, because uh, you can cinch them down if you're really trying to cover a lot of ground uh, or you can loosen them up a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's just a you know, really cool option for what you're, what you're looking at. So this is the sixth saddle I personally have owned and, and actually used for any you know, extended period of time. I've got two more saddles I actually just added to it. So I feel like I've got a very well-rounded view when it comes to a bunch of different saddles, manufacturers, and kind of what they offer. And this is a fantastic offering uh, from Cruiser. Uh, so again, highly would recommend it, but let's get down and kind of look at a little bit more of some more of the functionality of this actual saddle. So outside of the tree, um, I really like it for, for walking in because like I said, these leg loops are in a really good spot. I mean, as you can see, they're not like pinching anything, maybe your leg if you get them too tight, but I mean, uh, this little elastic band right here that keeps things in place is a really nice touch, uh, kind of keeps things organized. You can, you know, send it down right there and there's nothing flapping around. I also really love the bridge because you can take that amp steel and you can kind of break it like that, break the little Prusik knot and tighten that bad boy way down like so. Uh, and then you can do whatever to get rid of this big tag end. I just typically run it through there like so, run it through that and then bam, 
And not only does that keep everything kind of tight so nothing's getting hung up while you're walking, but it also helps the saddle actually stay on you. Um, and when you're wearing it like this, it feels like it's very fitted to you. Like I don't feel like it's hanging off of me or anything. Everything feels very streamlined, very like put together nicely. Uh, and it's just, it's better to walk in the woods with, uh, I feel like, when I have this adjustable bridge. I mean, it's, it's really nice. It's uh, definitely an upgrade for me. So a couple things to kind of note on about the design of the XC is the kind of uh, the rounded shape that Andrew talks about uh, of the waist belt and also the lower panel of it. Again, it really kind of cups your butt really nicely. Um, and then also the expanded chamber. So this material is extremely uh, rigid, uh, which is extremely nice because again, it holds its shape very, very well and it holds the expanded chamber very well. It's actually quite difficult uh, for this to open uh, when you're actually in the stand. You actually have to, you know, pull it down to have it open, which is great because when you're seated, it literally feels like you're sitting in a hammock, but it snaps back really nice. Now, one thing I like about this versus what I've experienced the last year hunting out of a uh, Arrow Hunter Flex is the Flex uses Cordura and the Cordura has worn out on it where it, it does not close back. It stays completely open. There's no way for it to close back up. And we'll show that in just a little bit. But this material, just the way it's been stitched, it's gonna go back on, on top of itself very easily. So that's really, really nice. And again, the rigidity of it really helps with the comfort. Now the high-vis linesman belts I really like as well, especially in situations in this low light or in just situations where you have a lot of layers on, this stands out very well to make sure you're snapping in on your linesman belt every single time. And I really like that just as a safety factor. Uh, so that's, that's a really big deal for me. Um, and then you just have, again, your one loop uh, for any accessories that you're gonna hang back here. I normally have one of these Amazon pouches. You can buy these for like eight, nine bucks. And I have these on all my saddles. I uh, just kind of keep my, my uh, tethered in here along with bow hooks and everything else. So that's really nice. But it goes on there very, very nice and slick. Um, but other than that, it's just a great, design saddle um, that's got a lot of kind of nice upgrades on it that you're not finding uh, so far out there uh, on the market. Now, I know Arrow Hunter, one thing I want to do is kind of grab this, this uh, Arrow Hunter Flex real quick. This saddle was a fantastic saddle for me last year. It's in the broadside camo pattern, awesome pattern. Uh, great saddle, great craftsmanship on here, and it was extremely comfortable for me last year. The one thing that I've noticed after a year of hunting it and hunting it very hard is the durability factor. This, the Cordura has gotten very, very thin, it feels. It was very, very kind of stiff when I first got it, and after, you know, 10 to 15 sits, it's really kind of softened up, um, and it's lost its shape, so it's fully expanded. It will not go back down non-expanded. There's no way for it, um, which is kind of unfortunate. So then it's just like a really big saddle sitting on you, uh, which again was okay, uh, but nothing too terrible uh, about it. The inside though, is what kind of got me a little more worried on the durability factor. Um, you can almost see through some of the Cordura itself. Um, and that's just from hunting, you know, fairly hard in it uh, for one season. So anyways, this is a little bit thinner material compared to the, the XC that's using that thicker mesh. So that's just one thing to think about. Um, kind of going back to the saddle, one thing I like about it is, again, this like we talked about with the leg straps, um, and one thing that Chad did for me, which I wonder if he would do for more guys, I probably need to ask him, uh, but at the time, I've actually lost 50 pounds since we got the saddle uh, back in, uh, in July, no, or June. And I actually asked him to do some longer leg straps for me, which he did because at the time the ones he sent out were really short and there was no way I could do my bibs on them uh, while wearing the saddle. Now, since I've lost that weight, I've gone down six inches on my waist. I don't really have that issue anymore, uh, but that was a really nice touch uh, that I really appreciated from him, kind of making sure it was going to fit me. Uh, but overall, just very satisfied with the saddle. Again, I've hunted it uh, quite a bit so far this year, uh, early season. And uh, again, I think they did a really good job with the saddle. So I'd highly recommend it for anybody, especially if you're new to the saddle hunting or if you're just trying to add something else to your uh, collection as I have. Again, this is uh, my sixth saddle. I've got two more at the house. I've got eight total. Uh, so if you're a saddle junkie, worth uh, buying it. Uh, or if you're kind of new to saddle hunting, it's worth trying it out because I'm sure you're going to be very happy with it. Also with it being American made, made in uh, Tennessee is really, uh, really nice. And also their lead times aren't too crazy. I think they're at two to three weeks at this time uh, of making this video. That does not mean it's going to be the same a year from now or whenever you're watching this video. But that's just really nice touch from a, from a guy that's doing a lot of cool things up in Tennessee uh, with cruiser saddles. All right, the last thing about the saddle is the price. In this configuration with your Amsteel bridge and everything, you're looking at 255, which is uh, 
I mean, pretty expensive if you're trying to get into saddle hunting. Um, pretty, that's, I mean, I'd say all saddles probably range from what, 170 to like 300 or so. Is that accurate, cameraman? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's kind of the going rate if you're going with this type of saddle. Um, so, I mean, it's a matter of if you want to, you know, make that investment. So it comes in three different sizes. Uh, size one, which is a 28 inch waist to a 32. Size two is a 32 to a 38. And size three is a 36 to a 42. This right here is a size three. I'm a 36 waist. And so I got the bigger version because layering up up underneath it, you know, if you got some puffy pants or some bibs on when it gets really cold. Uh, so that's something to be mindful of. All in all, I would uh, I would definitely recommend the saddle. I really like it. I was trying to find something like negative about it because I don't want to sound super biased, but I don't I haven't found anything I don't like about it yet. Um, again, I've only hunted with it for a, a little while, so you know maybe after a season or two something will pop up. You know the thing with saddles is they're like boots. Every every saddle's different. Every saddle has its pros and cons. Um, you know we talked about the flex and the mantis a little bit. When we were hunting out of those saddles, there was nothing wrong with them. We loved them. Uh, they're still great saddles. It's absolutely no knock on them. Uh, it's just they all have different features. Um, I prefer this one, definitely. Uh, but that being said, if you buy this saddle, you're still going to have to figure out how to be comfortable in it. You know, if you've never sat in one and you buy it, there's going to be like that learning curve where you got to get in this thing and play around with it in the yard, play around with your tether height, play around with the bridge length, figure out different configurations like for instance this setup right here is how I bow hunt you know I can go around the tree very easily I can stand up and do the old you know backward shot or whatever pretty easily um, but like when I'm rifle hunting I might move this tether actually down a little bit lower and shorten up my bridge so I'm more standing so it's easier for me to rest my rifle on the side of the tree uh, and those are just things that you got to figure out for yourself because um, everybody's a little different which we noticed at our bows and bridges event you know everybody there was a little bit different you know, everyone's trying all these different saddles. We had mantises, phantoms, these, uh, arrow hunters, all kinds of stuff. And everybody's trying different saddles and everybody likes something different. So um, just, just a word to the wise, you know, as you're watching videos like this, if you're watching this one, you're probably watching other ones too. Just know that when you make your decision, the first time you sit in it, if you've never been in a saddle, you might be like, wow, this, is, this hurts. <laughs> so you just gotta figure things out. But like I said, all in all, Definitely recommend the saddle. I really like this thing. Uh, that's all I got.